So what you're seeing here is a lift 4 1 and lift 4 2 with nasal bone fracture. And you can see this. So we're going to be doing open reduction and internal fixation. So this view clearly shows you the size of the orbit that's reduced rather that's increased significantly because of fractures in the orbit and the fat has descended so we are going to reconstruct that view so we're doing our orbital flow reconstruction here this is a post-traumatic injury so the orbital floor is going to be reconstructed with this orbital floor and medial wall reconstruction plate so we've done the dissection we've removed the fat whatever had gone into the sinus and i'm now gently you see that placing this inside and once it goes adequately inside as it's done now that's it we just have to bend these plates down you can see me do that it's very easy to bend these plates and we put one screw each that's it so it basically sits there with gravity and it reduces the floor size so by reducing the size of the volume of the orbit it prevents an anophthalmosis it usually doesn't reduce the orbit to exact pre-accident levels but it reduces the size because there's an onlay on the end of it as you can see on the orbital rim all right once that's done we let go of that and then i just have to put a screw here so you know put one screw each but sometimes just one screw will suffice We've also used a uh, frontozygomatic approach, as you can see. We've fixed this already. You can see that. So this is a larger plate and a larger screw. And so the 2 mm plate with some 6 mm screws. We've also done some work intraorally to take care of the patient's upper jaw. Okay, we're going to give a uh, 6 mm screw. Chinna mm. dhano. So you can see many plates here, also many fractures in the upper jaw that have all been fixed after being reduced. And uh, this is part of pan-facial fractures treatment that we've done. There's a fracture here on the base, so the pyriform rim, base of the nose. There's one on the zygomatic buttress, there's one in the sinus and one here on this pyriform rim as well.